we're about to talk about the sac around the heart, the pericardium. Tell me about the pericardium when it's causing chest pain, why? Sometimes it becomes a flame for different reasons, but sometimes there's clues in the presentation. Now I take chest pain clues with a grain of salt because there's those typical and atypical presentations. But in general, that's a pain that's worse when I lay down, better when I lay forward. There's not many other things you lean forward and you, hey, my chest pain is better. So that should be a clue that there's pericardial inflammation. What does it sound like when you listen with a stethoscope with we a call it a, a rub, okay? So it has, and that's if there's lots of inflammation and, and depending on the acuity or the chronicity of the condition. But you can hear just a little bit of a friction rub Oh, it's hard to describe it. You once you've heard it, you won't forget it. <laughs> sort of, sort hey, of. Noise. That's pretty darn that good. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's pericarditis. Is that a serious thing? It can be serious because if there's inflammation, then all of a sudden there's fluid production, and this is a, sm a sac that's a close uh, compartment. So if that fluid builds up, that heart gets squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. Then blood can't get into the heart. Well, if it's not coming in. It's not going, not going out. out. And so you start having symptoms of yeah. chest pain, shortness of breath, heart failure. Yes. Syncope, lightheaded dizziness.